Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad geometric challenge and here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of one side is given and it is 101 and we solve this problem for the value of parameter and area. So in order to find the parameter and area, first we find the length of other two sides. So you see here this is right triangle and we call this is any other angle and we know that the side opposite to the the right angle is known as hypotenuse and we denote it by h or we call this h is c okay so we have we denote this side by base and it is small b and we call this is perpendicular and it is small a so uh, we have hypotenuse base and perpendicular and uh, now we use the pythagoras theorem in order to solve this problem and you know that pythagoras theorem it is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square and now we substitute the values of h b and p so the value of h is c so it will become c square and the value of b is 101 so we substitute this value here it will becomes 101 square and perpendicular is a square and now we move this a square to the left hand side and it will become c square minus a square equals to 101 square it is equals to 10201 so here we use the nice square formula and we know that c square minus a square equals to c minus a times of c plus a equals to 10201 so here if you focus in the left hand side and you see here we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now first we find uh, the product of uh, first we find the factors of uh, this number so we have two possibilities in which we get these factor and these possibility are 10201 multiplied by 1 is 10201 and the second case is 101 multiplied by 101 is also equals to 10201 so uh, now in the next step we convert further in two cases so our first case is we compare uh, the left hand side with first case and in second we compare the left hand side with second case so uh, when we compare this in left hand side so we write it as c minus a equals to 1 and c plus a equals to 10201 and similarly when we compare this in second then you get c minus a equals to 101 and c plus a equals to 101 and now in the next step we solve these two cases and now first we focus on case number two in this case so now here we first uh, subtract these two equations and you know that when we subtract the equations then we just change the signs and you see here this is positive and negative are cancelled by each other and this is add each other and we get minus two times of a equals to zero because this is positive and negative are also cancelled by each other so here we get the value of a equals to zero so if a equals to zero and we could we denote a by perpendicular of this right triangle so if perpendicular is zero it means that all this triangle is zero so it is not possible any side length of triangle is equals to zero so we just rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only and in this case uh, first we call this as equation number one and we call this as equation number two so here we add equation number one and equation number two in order to find the value of a and c so when you add these two equations then this is negative and positive a are cancelled by each other and we have c and c it will becomes two times of c and one plus this value equals to 10202 so when we divide these two on both of the sides then you get the value of c equals to 5101 so this is the value of c and now in order to find the value of a we subtract equation number one and equation number two so here when you subtract 
these two equations it means that you change these signs so this c and c are cancelled by each other and we add minus a and minus a it will become minus 2a and 1 minus this value equals to minus 10,200. So we divide both of the sides by minus 2 and it will become a equals to 10,000 and minus 10,200 over minus 2. So you get the value of a is 5,100. So this is the value of a. So we a find the value of a and c so we put a and c these two values uh, here so you get the value of a is uh, 550100 and we have the value of c is uh, 5101 so now we uh, get uh, uh, the value of all three sides of this right triangle and now we move towards uh, to find the parameter of uh, this right triangle and you know that about parameter uh, so we know that a parameter of triangle equals to sum of all the three sides of the triangle so uh, in order to find the parameter we add these three sides and we have the value of a is 5100 and then the value of b is 101 and the value of c is 5101 and now we add these three values so when you add these three values then uh, we will just obtain 10302 units so this is the parameter of the given nice right triangle and now we move towards to find the area of the triangle and we know that uh, about area what is the formula of the area of triangle it is 1 over 2 times of base multiplied by height of this triangle and we have our base is denoted by b and our base is 101 and our uh, height sorry here h denoted by height not hypotenuse okay so our height is 5100 and now uh, we uh, just uh, multiply these two values and we divide it by 2 then you get here uh, the number is 25755 and 0 units so this is the area of this right triangle and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.